Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you an NFL matchup in the NFC West between the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals. Now, you look at the 49ers coming to this game, tough loss at home against Tampa Bay, but what you have to do coming on the road uh, in a tough place to play in Arizona, you have to make sure you that first drive has to be key. You guys have to get at least a touchdown out that first drive. That's going to set the tone. That's going to put these guys in a mindset like, oh my God, here he goes again. First drive is going to be key, both offensively and defensively, but you have to make sure that first drive of the game has to come out and score a touchdown. Now, you also look at the fact that you guys have a huge offensive line. Arizona Cardinals struggle stopping a run. Win at the point of attack, guys. Combo blocking it should be key. Get your, your linemen, those big guards of yours, onto the next level on those linebackers. So watch how much room Frank Gore should have to run if you guys utilize a lot more combo blocking this week in order to have some success in the running game. Now you look at your defense coming in, you can't allow Anderson any time back there in the pocket. He's a guy that will love to get rid of that football quickly. Keep that pressure up. Don't be afraid to turn up the blitz a little bit more this week than so other weeks. So you want to keep pressure on Anderson. Keep him uh, guessing the offensively and keep him getting rid of that football quickly and you look at your red zone situations You ha guys have to use a lot more inverted cover too. put the safety at Fitzgerald put the safety on Breston Therefore you get a big jam at the wire at the line of scrimmage and your cornerbacks can effectively play over top and just play the ball So in red zone situations, I will use a lot more inverted cover two, putting the safeties in place of the cornerbacks and the cornerbacks in place of the safeties. And you should give yourself a chance to win on those jump balls against Larry Fitzgerald. Now you look at the Cardinals coming in. Offensively, you got to keep working everyone in the passing game. I like the way you continue to spread the football around. Getting Breston back was huge. You got Fitzgerald over there. Keep working everybody in the passing game. Even Hightower in the passing game. Sneaky receiver out of the backfield. Get everyone involved in the passing game. That's going to give the San Francisco 49ers defense a lot more to worry about when they're trying to defend the pass. Now, in the running game, you look at the fact that you got to control Abreu Franklin. If you allow Abreu Franklin to cause problems in that defense, if you allow him to play a disruptive force against the run, that's going to back up that offense. That's going to put you in those second and long, third and long situations in which you want to avoid. So you have to make sure Abreu Franklin does not become a factor in this football game. So you guys have to control that line of scrimmage up front. Now defensively, don't allow yourself to get big boyed in the running game. San Francisco is going to come in, they're going to try to run the football down your throat, you're going to see a lot of double tight end sets, you're going to see a lot of unbalanced lines, so you want to make sure you don't get big boyed in the run game, play aggressive, stopping the run is an attitude, you guys have to come in with the right attitude in order to stop the run, don't allow yourself to get pushed around the run game, and a gap pressure. If you're a get pressure on Troy Smith down the middle of that offensive line, guess what? You give yourself a chance to win defensively because you do have some ball hogs back there in the secondary, Cromartie and also um, Tola, a guy that can make plays on the ball as well too. Adrian Wilson's a guy that can catch an occasional interception, but it all starts when you get pressure up the middle of that offensive line for San Francisco. Yes, they're a little bit weak on the offensive line right now due to some injuries, especially with Joe Staley. He's going to be out. So, pressure up the middle of the defense is going to allow you guys to win in that passing game and create opportunities for your defense to get some turnovers. I'm going with San Francisco in this matchup. They have the element that the Cardinals don't want to see. They can run the heck out of the football. That's going to keep the 49ers on the field offensively and keep their defense on the field tired. And so I think the 49ers are going to come in and take control and try to stake claim and stay keeping that race for the NFC West title. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan.